Digimon has officially pissed off all of Twitter and Reset Era with their recent stage play and the villain being political correctness. And of course, Twitter and Reset Era screeched, Ree! Oh boy, it was beautiful. Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So Digimon did something very interesting, which they ended up trending over, and I have to say, this was uh, pretty comical if you had to ask me. So what Digimon did, which got the whole entire circus on Twitter absolutely in a frenzy, so, this article is by Bounding Into Comics. Digimon Tamer stage play accused of promoting far right politics by fan translation group for featuring political correctness as villain with a cancel culture attack. <laughs> oh man, and then the circus on Twitter, you know, all those clowns, they were in a complete and total meltdown. All because the villain. Well, it's political correctness. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is why I love Japan. In the recent fan sub of a Digimon Tamer stage play performed during the recent Digifez 2021 event, English fan sub group The Wild Bunch included a warning at the beginning of their release, warning that this program promotes for right politics and conspiracy theories due to its featuring of political correctness as its story's villain. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love Japan. Oh, I love how they're just fighting political correctness. This is great. And of course, you know, all the circus clowns on Twitter, they get pissed off over this because, you know comes down to it they worship this stuff like it's their religion it's a cult basically and to see political correctness be made fun of or you know be attacked they can't stand it but what i love is how japan just looks at these circus clowns on twitter and just gives them the finger and says hey you know what you can get out and you can take your political correctness with you get the hell out of here <laughs> i think it's absolutely fantastic it's great Released on August 3rd, the Wild Bunch's fan sub of the Digifest 2021 stage play bears a disclaimer warning viewers that the stage play, which sees the cast of Digimon Tamers reunite to read a newly written script from series writer Chiaki J. Konaka, also of Serial Experiments Lane fame himself, program promotes far-right politics and conspiracy theories. Because, you know, you couldn't have something like this in the West. You know, Japan is where you're going to have, like, all these wonderful stories, you know, they don't try to stop any creativity or put any restraints on it. You know, they allow people to be creative however they want. Like, you're not going to get stories like Redo of Healer. You're not going to get stories like Goblin Slayer or Shield Hero. You're not going to get stories like that over here in the West. Not in the modern day, you won't. So, you should definitely go check them out. Added to the release, ostensibly based on the fact that the... Kanaka's script negatively portrays the concept of political correctness, censorship, and cancel culture as societal threats. The Wild Bunch's warning for their notes, The views and opinions expressed herein do not reflect those of partner fans of group, Dats, and Wild Bunch. You know, they try to act like this is a conspiracy theory, but we all know cancel culture is a real thing. It's been very dangerous. It's ruined the lives of many. You know... It looks for its newest target every single day. I mean, it's not a conspiracy theory. Cancel culture is real, and it's a terrible thing. If there's anything that needs to be canceled, it's cancel culture itself. Cancel culture is evil, and it is a horrible thing. It truly is. I mean, it will keep on until you lose your job, until you lose your family, until you lose your home, until you're just in a cardboard box where they take gasoline, pour it all over you, light you on fire, and beat you to death with bats. That's basically what cancel culture tries to do to you. It's horrible. Now, this is pretty funny. So as you can see here, they have the, a new threat is approaching even as we speak. And this is what it states here, saying, uh, censorship on the internet is rampant, and real news is covered up by fake news, he adds. People with a different opinion have their online accounts terminated. Even alternative perspectives are set out to be crushed by fact checkers so only uniform answers can exist at this point people's daily lives are controlled by information on the internet you know this is great to see japan just fight this i, I just i love this i really do 
And, you know, like, here's the thing. Japan's aware that these Puritans want to try to come in and that they want to try to stop them from being able to have creative freedom, you know, creative expression, you know, freedom of expression, you know, they know this, and so they're tired of this crap too, they're tired of the political correctness also, and they know how dangerous political correctness actually is, and that's why they fight this too, you know, it's, it's great to see them stand up and do this, I think that this is fantastic, I mean, I gotta give it to base Japan, because they are awesome, they, they did great here, love it. Uh, asked once again, what is it? Uh, Yamaki reveals, extreme political correctness. Now is exactly the time for Tamers and Digimon to take a stand. <laughs> oh, their attack right here. <laughs> attack is political correctness is activating cancel culture. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, man. Talk about just completely getting at these Puritans. This is glorious. I, I love it. And, I mean, Twitter was so upset. They were so butthurt over the whole thing. But wait! There's more! Oh, and not only was Twitter mad, but, oh, boy, get ready. Reset Era. Now, if you know Reset Era, I've talked about them a couple of times before, and, good God, Reset Era. <laughs> They're a disgusting bunch of people. You know, like, talk about their poop fetishes and other things you know and so they were upset over this stating this a digimon tamer's long greeting devolves to far right talking points <laughs> oh man they were really really just buttered over this you want to talk about having the salt oh man they had salt all over the place and oh man because you know they were talking about how as you can see you know the screen cap which you know we've already seen here but uh, they were talking about this the fact that the fan sub group has to put a disclaimer in the OP shows if, if something is very wrong. Uh, people started watching it. Well, it's rather blatant. <laughs> and then, uh, you had people here thinking that it was a troll. Um, and to show these aren't troll subs, here's an audio snippet where you can clearly hear them say political correctness and cancel culture in English. Well, person for Twitter was saying this, I thought that this is a troll sub, so I downloaded it. No, they just say it in flat out English. <laughs> More people being like, that's got to be a oh no from me. <laughs> this is great. Like, they were all butthurt on Reset Era in this whole entire thread as well. Just showing how mad they were. And look, these aren't even real fans. Okay, just keep in mind, Reset Era, they don't really care about this. They just want to try to infect it. Just like how the you know clowns on Twitter want to try to infect anything they can jump into as well. So as you can see here, you know, they're all just upset. Like, one person was like, the VAs all agreed to read this stuff? I mean, I just think it's glorious that <laughs> they got so upset over this. I mean, it's fantastic. But of course, you know, you have Reset Era, you have Twitter, you know, where people over there, all they're doing is just eating their expired cat food cans, you know, throwing them everywhere. They don't support anything they say that they do, and they want to try to jump in and ruin whatever they can. You know, they're nothing but a bunch of leechy bums. But, you know, you also have what I've talked about multiple times is where the Love Hina author has also tried to talk about his concerns involving this stuff. And, I mean, that's the thing. You know, he realizes that their creative expression will be completely destroyed if they let these Puritans jump in here. If these clowns get in, they know that at that point, any creative freedom is gone. And so, he's been going around trying to tell everybody and warn them of what the West has been trying to do. And, you know, of course, Japan is aware of this. You know, they're aware of what goes on. And they look at these bums and they're like, oh, no, they're not going to make us any money. They don't support anything that we do. So, uh, no, let's not listen to them. You know, and they've been fighting against this, which it's great to see Digimon do this exact same thing. So I have to say that this was brilliant. I got to give it to Digimon Tamers Group, you know, like all of them, the VAs and everything. Like, this was beautiful. I think it's fantastic because all of these people on Twitter, you know, all these clowns, you know, all of Reset Era just completely butthurt over this, just getting all upset. Because like you said, what they do is they treat political correctness as if it's their religion. It's a cult, basically. And whenever they hear that it's being attacked, oh, they're upset over it. You know, because they themselves want to push their politics. But whenever you go against the way they think, then, oh, well, we, we gotta cancel it. We gotta get rid of them. You know, which shows the exact threat that this whole entire stage play 
was talking about. You know, it brings up the threat of political correctness and cancel culture. And I have to give props to the Digimon Tamers group. They did an excellent job with this. And I have to give props to Japan. You know, I love Japan. They do an excellent job. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here. And make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released. As well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below but anyways i hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today and remember if today was not a good day tomorrow could always be better take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there everybody